guys, uh, guys, 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 good morning, Joe Ho here, listen guys, I'm just thinking, you know something, when you were, when you were writing jokes, you think of uh, Yankee ingenuity, right now guys, let me tell you something, the ideas, they are coming hard and fast, like an MMA fighter, kicking me in the nose with his knee, and uh, breaking my nose all over the place, and the blood is everywhere, it's, I don't understand how this is even a sport, guys. It is very barbaric. It makes boxing look like playing patty cakes. So, guys, Yankee ingenuity. You know, when you're writing jokes, you guys, you gotta think. You gotta think outside the bun. <laughs> See, I could have said outside the box, but I wanted to go outside the box. So, guys, that's that's the situation, guys. I think of in Yankee ingenuity. It got this uh, great uh, country of North America to dominate the globe and they got us so in a, a brief span of 200 years guys we became number one best country ever in human history so how did this happen guys think about it yankee ingenuity that's the answer i think i mean i gave you that it's like a quiz where they give you it's a practice quiz where the professor has already given you the answers i'm throwing a lot of softballs here guys because i know it is sunday and most of you uh consumed uh a great deal of alcohol uh, the night before and um, maybe, um, maybe we don't need to make a new rule because I'm honestly I'm worried about you guys um, I don't want you to be like uh, the famous comics who were uh, left us before their time I do care about you guys I care about your health and uh, but more importantly your comic legacy Anyway, guys, I don't know. Just uh, when you're writing a joke, maybe just imagine like what would uh, George Washington say? What would uh, you know if while well, George Washington was crossing the Delaware River on his little uh, wooden boat to defeat the British? What kind of humorous thoughts would be going through his mind when uh, I don't know when Thomas Jefferson was? Um, making love to his female slaves i mean put yourself in his boots guys uh when benjamin franklin was getting electrocuted by his uh kite i don't know why he put uh, a metal key on there uh it's not too smart guy it's guys that's uh, i mean guys 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 that's really asking for trouble so some of the other uh, people back then you had the guy who was uh riding around on his horse always saying the british are coming the british are coming uh i mean what a pervert uh the americans were coming too guys they all had a high sex drive they were living on the frontier and uh, they were eating the diet that they got from the natives so they were very virile uh this is what the pumpkins and the maize and uh the fresh deer carcass is going to do for your performance but i want to go down i don't want to go down that that road right now guys uh but um you know forgive uh, forgive me at least i'm not if it was anthony doing this bulletin it would have been like chock a block of fart jokes um start to finish so count your blessings that uh, you got joe ho as your virtual george washington and we are going to defeat the British guys we're going to kick the British's butts down to Chinatown and uh, whether they're coming or not so anyway I don't know guys you got uh, you had the guy that was the riding around this so Paul Revere guy you know uh, he was obsessed with uh he was like the weird guy that was always going around like saying weird stuff downtown uh you had the guy uh, you know there's a lot of other guys I mean you had the John Adams you had the Quincy Jones, uh, I mean, you got the Benedict uh, Arnold, a lot of guys who did their part uh, to make this uh, great country great and stuff. So, but I could not have done it without comedy. You have to entertain the troops, guys, or they will get burned out and give up the fight. So, this is why there is a USO tour, and uh, they got uh, this is why they take Miley Cyrus and all these other weird people over there to uh, the Middle East to entertain the troops because um, at that point the guys, the guys are so starved for any type of culture that uh, even putting like a rerun of Bob Hope uh, played on the VCR they will go bonkers for this stuff so I don't know guys just some thoughts to think about it uh, I'm gonna get on Wikipedia right now and find a complete list of all of the founding fathers of the nation and uh, 
get back to you what I, on what I find out, okay? You can put down your stupid smartphones. I know you have not been listening to a dang thing right now. You've been looking on your Instagram. Hey, I don't know what to do with you guys sometimes. Please sign up for the 201 course, guys. You're going to need it. The way things have been going, you're getting like three laughs per minute lately at the open mic night. Uh, I'm laughing through my tears. <laughs>